This is a 1080p 14 bits. What's up, guys? JPR Tech here, and today here I am talking about 1080p mode. Recently, I've been shooting a lot in 1080p. My last video I did with Vitrine Garden, I can't believe I that I did that. But um, yeah, I just went for it, shot everything 1080p 14 bits, and I was surprised. It came out pretty clean. It's not that anything changed with 1080p mode or the crop mode, but I believe the only change I have done in my workflow recently since December, the Hanser Pro. I think the Hanser Pro, I don't know what it did, if it's the film simulation or what, but it actually cleaned up a lot of the aliasing that plagues the 1080p mode. So this is great news. Great news for us because we can shoot open gauge at 14 bits and get clean image. Right now we are shooting in 1080p mode 14 bits and the sweater I'm wearing, I've used it in other shoes and just these whole lines, they create aliasing all over the place and even like fringing and chromatic aberration. It, it creates it because of the, the color pattern. I don't know what it is about this fabric. It's a little shiny, I guess. I don't know, but it, it, it gives it trouble, and especially when I'm shooting in 1080p. But right now I'm pretty confident that it's pretty clean. And again, this is one of the advantages of shooting with 1080p mode. We could shoot basically continuously at 14 bits. So if we can just clean up the aliasing as much as we can this is great now the other thing i'm doing is i'm exporting in apple prores apple prores that allows you to keep all the creative styles and the effects you're doing in the mlvm i notice when i export in the dng it doesn't keep any of the settings that i put like i put the vertical line fix i put the chromatic aberration and definitely that's something I notice when I shoot with, uh, when I export from the MLV app, is this a big difference between exporting in DNG and Apple ProRes. And I usually just leave it LT because it does keep a lot of the information. I don't feel like I lose any quality from the 14 bits exporting in the LT. It's definitely worth the hassle exporting in ProRes because it's a lot easier on DaVinci Resolve. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. DaVinci Resolve does a great job color, color transforming all the codecs and whatever profile you're shooting at. That it doesn't really matter what you shoot with. DaVinci can work with anything you throw at it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm just pretty excited that we got 1080p back. It's usable. Definitely usable. Uh, what do you guys think? If you guys think this whole test works, uh, if you're curious about how it works in the field, check out my retailing garden uh, video that I made, the free admission day uh, video I made. It was all 1080p at 14 bits, and I used the various lenses. You know, I mainly stuck with the Sigma 16mm f1.4, and also I shot with this one. Uh, I love this one in 1080p. This is an amazing lens. It's a TTR the Sun 35mm f1.4. We're looking, but I love it because it's compact and looks amazing. And the bouquet is so creamy. Definitely excited. 1080p is back. Yeah.